What's up, you guys, and welcome to Read the Room. My name is Chase the Dark Sage, and today I'm your host for another Joel Jolien read through of chapter 45 and maybe chapter 46. I saw that chapter 45 was about 30 something pages, so hopefully, we go through that and hit the next chapter. Now, this is getting really intense because, well, it's not getting really intense, it's getting really juicy because now we've seen that we got two new rock humans that we're gonna have to face off against while we're with Carrera, while we've just gained some new information about Josuke and his past identity itself. If you're not hyped to read this chapter, I don't know what to tell you, man. But this is Love Love Deluxe Part 3, and hopefully we can finish it off with Part 4 itself. Now, before we actually get to the read through, make sure you join the Patreon, Lewis Tears Doll. You can see the page weeks ahead of time and i'm blurred and make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video to help support your boy on the channel but without further ado i'm hyped to see what's about to happen in this next part of love love deluxe so let's go ahead and get into it chapter 45 love love deluxe part three okay and now we see some guy reading a magazine oh and one of the rock humans i'm assuming is knocking on the window and he's just slurping his drink oh it's a taxi driver knock 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 shut up can't you see i'm on break uh oh this is not a good idea all right have you given this woman a ride or seen her around anywhere all right so now they're holding up a picture of wait whoa look at the way that he's using his hand to make an image of Carrero. Whoa, okay, this is weird. No, I can't say I have. All right, now he's looking around and now he sees the two guys. But I bet he's like, how did they how did they do that thing with their hand? <laughs> the atmosphere's kind of changed, hasn't it? I did some shopping and it's really heavy. Hi, 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 hi. All right, Josie's looking earlier. Did you ask me to give you some money for a place to stay tonight? But studying is more important, right? Maybe I shouldn't sing this loud late at night. <laughs> I just heard a bird just making a random noise right outside my window. It's very creepy and it's late at night. Hey, let me not do that again. <laughs> I finally got a computer too. <laughs> my dream is to be a fashion designer one day. And I swear to God, I'm making that dream come true. Heck yeah. Uh, What does a computer have to do with being a fashion designer? <laughs> <laughs> I really have no talent for drawing. I'm going to do designs with CG software. So I bought a laptop. I mean, I'd have to eventually write. I, oh, I'd have to eventually write. So I just bought it. Done. All charged up. Yamada-san. Yamada-san. Ah, I'm carrying all this stuff. So let's go get a ride. Taxi, where are we going? To your place, say chan My place. <laughs> but first, Tomorrow Building 258. 258? Huh? All right. Now she's looking at him. Wait, is he like a rock human disguise? Okay. Hey, um, I heard that. Did you just go, hmm, at me? Hey, Mr. Driver, are you trying to make that sound like you were talking to yourself? Does that uh mean don't make me drive to someplace that close by in Japanese? <laughs> All right, so now he's just staring. Don't just ignore me, dang it. Say it to my face, you chicken-ish. Oh, my God. She's bipolar. Hey, stop. <laughs> Screw you. I've got your name memorized. Munayuki-san, right? It's over for you, bucko. I'm going to report you. I've got a pen-ish head. <laughs> I, I've got cameras on you you know get, get out of this taxi oh man oh hey he said something about cameras oh man looks like he finally said it the bad word okay what are we gonna do if your cameras are capturing this stuff going on back here all right oh what is she using her hair for he he you really did it you were the one who closed the door mr driver but don't worry i'll keep quiet a girl's hair is her life but i'll be real nice and let you off the hook oh so she secretly put her hair into the door made it seem like he closed her hair into the door all right this is very interesting she is a con artist <laughs> she cannot be trusted <laughs> Karen, well she seems like she has a good heart so far but when it comes to getting money or getting over on other people outside of josuke she can't be trusted. Karama Chan, just who exactly are you? Woohoo! What are you trying to do? All right. Mm. Like I said, say, Chan, I'm going to your house. That's where I want to go. All right. Clance, you know where my house is? I saw I was crashing before, didn't I? And it's Kira's house, right? Let's go. Kira. Morio Building 258. I see. Kira's condo is down this road. Carrera had that photo with Kira and me in the same shot. Didn't you hear Carrera Chan? Shikage Kira died. Oh. Okay. This is about to get interesting because did she not know? All right. So now it looks like she's turning around. It looks like she's chattering. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, she's chattering. All right, cool. Oh, she just grasped her teeth. Huh, how'd he die? You you don't think he was murdered, do you? What? Oh, all right. So now she's exhaling. Uh, uh, all right, she's hiding. Look, looks like things were so simple. It's been, ha it's been half a year since the earthquake. So I thought things had cooled down, but I had it all wrong. Oh, no, she's terrified. She's scared. 
what is she scared of oh this is oh this is getting oh this is getting more juicy this situation is moving in an even more dangerous direction D dang it hey could you tell me how kara died uh you just asked if he was killed i heard you why do you think that that's why i'd like to know you seem pretty afraid right now what makes you feel that way i can't go to that condo anymore just tell me how did kara die oh okay kira was buried in the ground near the long pine the place everybody calls the wall eyes and this is the truth he wasn't murdered it might have been an accident in the earthquake or it might have been after that there weren't any external wounds and his body was dried out when we when he found when he was found dead i was buried under the ground as well i survived all right now she's looking i lost my memory though my body seems to have undergone equivalent exchange mm, okay okay we already knew this but he's explaining it to her could you tell me what happened who am i there was a rokoka tree just one Ooh, okay so kira knew about the rokoka okay i'm sure kira had a single tree hidden in a flower pot i saw kira hiding it in his kitchen huh the conversation suddenly took a turn i can't tell what Carrera was talking about rokoka okay oh he doesn't know that it's the fruit oh yeah that's good rokoka tree is Carrera talking about that fruit's tree he's hiding a tree because she have just said what that fruit is called all right he disposed of the other trees i saw that kira was hiding just one of the rokoka trees because kira has a sick mom you see Carrera knows about the fruits she's talking about them now so it's those fruits she's after all right where is it now Oh, okay, okay. Do you know, Seichan? I mean, you changed your appearance, right? You disguised yourself so it'd be easier to hide from everybody. Oh, okay, so now we get a little view of Josuke in Yoshikage Kira's apartment. Okay, this is interesting. Me, she's saying that the reason I'm wearing this sort of outfit is because I know where the fruit tree is. Is that what she's saying? Seichan, where's the Rokoka fruit right now? Oh, okay. Oh, there goes the rock human right there. Hi, no. Oh, he's not slick, though. All right, this is about to be very interesting right now. All right. So now the rock human is coming up. Josuke is looking. Oh, okay. Now he's just in plain sight right now. Carrera chan. Is that someone you know? All right. So now Carrera chan hit right behind Josuke. Now the guy is coming up. What? Well, who are you? Josuke is looking. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot there was two of them. But I, I I kind of expected that someone, the other one was around near, obviously, because these two don't seem very inseparable like that. So let's see where this goes. And we get to see Josuke's birthmark as usual. Let's keep going though. All right. Eek! <laughs> oh. You know it's weird how we got that little standard briefing in the last read through? And it was like, oh, if he used gas, he could transport the gas or whatever. This is literally what he's doing right now. I thought that was a bit too specific and too on the nose for that little explanation right there. But let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, this is very interesting because how is he going to use this gas? Because it looks like it's just turning into skin rather than gas itself. But okay, I, I can't really tell what's happening. And this, or maybe it's forming the gas and then it'll fully become gas later on. That's what I'm thinking right now. All right. Oh, well, I guess the gas is just pink. <laughs> oh, oh, he bought it. He brought a torch. Okay. This rock human douse carrera in the oil and well gas and he brought a torch oh he is not playing is it only hitting her hair because if so oh my gosh he lit her on fire no this is insane no this man means business oh he means business oh he lit her on fire this is crazy right now and now all she's doing is screaming which i would too all right and now it looks like the flames are just taking over josuke's looking around soft and wet all right but what is he doing oh he's taking the flames away is he gonna disperse them onto the rock humans oh that'd be very interesting i feel like we haven't seen soft and wet in a really long while that's that's just my oh shoot what was that i feel like we really haven't seen soft and wet in a really long while all right but ah Ah, all right, so now all the fire, the flames are just going away in the bubbles. All right, now they're looking. Okay, so Josuke saved her. But what is he going to do with those bubbles with the flames in them? Please put them on the rock, human, so they can burn alive. <laughs> oh, my God. What? what is happening to me hey what the heck are you doing who are you furniture i guess these guys do know you after all get out of here run Wah! all right so now they jesus these things are taking over what i don't know what's happening right now all right so it looks like they're doing some type of hand-to-hand -hand combat which looks very weird for jojo fashion but then <laughs> i'm gonna just read this chapter and once i finish it i'm gonna read that next chapter and another time when i don't have hiccups because geez this is annoying and i want to give you guys my initial reaction my initial reactions when i'm trying to 
Oh, well, I'm about to hiccup. I don't want to hiccup. I want to give you guys my initial reaction. Okay, I'm, I'm getting tired. All right, so like I said before, it looks like they're doing some type of weird hand-to-hand -hand combat. Josuke just wah, wah, right in that guy's face. This is very interesting. Okay, let's keep going though. Oh, wait, did he put a bubble right in his mouth? Oh, okay, okay, let's see where this goes because he just popped a bubble in this rock human's mouth. All right, and now he's bleeding. Let's see where this goes. All right, so Josuke is now looking at the soccer ball, but what does that soccer ball actually have inside of it? Because this rock human kicked it and he went right up to this little pole and it's coming down. Are we gonna uncover the mystery that's in here? Is there a Rokuka tree in there? What's happening with the soccer ball? All right, so now they're basically double teaming Josuke right here. And I like the way that this rock human uses his ability to kind of touch something and he transport whatever he touches to actually becoming on his hands or whatever his hand actually becomes. All right, so now he's still choking out Josuke while taking the actual wiring from the fence. And now he's using it, but you can see it's slowly getting smaller, smaller, and smaller. But obviously he's not gonna run out anytime soon because he has a whole fence to use at his disposal and now he's choking out josuke which is looking very very painful right now this is this is looking like barbed wire kind of getting hit on josuke but right now he's just suffocating the mess out of josuke which i really don't like to see my boy josuke in this type of situation right here but it's a really intense one i will say that and he's getting double teamed while carrera is just running away which hopefully she's coming up with a plan and not just gonna leave our boy stranded all right just like carrera run we'll go after her later we're changing the order start with this guy and at the end of this chapter we do have a stand debriefing right here which we have the other stand ability and i kind of hate the fact that we're actually getting spoiled with what's inside the actual soccer ball itself now instead of actually seeing it in the next chapter itself but let's go ahead and read what it says younger apex brother rock human stand name scott key number two within the soccer ball shaped bag he holds a poisonous gas stand its attack range is 20 centimeters from this ball like bag all right this is a very interesting stand ability and like i said i'm going to continue the next chapter at another time instead of doing it right here and now because i'm going to have to do a lot of cuts and a lot of editing around my hiccups because these hiccups are really killing me and like i said earlier i want to give you guys my initial reactions when it comes to these chapters so all right so i'm gonna be real with y'all i looked at the first two pages of this next chapter that we're about to get into and i decided to make this video its own thing because i saw how much was happening in those first two pages i was like okay maybe this is just one page out of a 40 page chapter I could deal with this. I saw the second page. I didn't read it. I was just glancing at it to make sure it was just manga itself. And then I was like, oh, no, no, this is th this is a lot of words. This is a lot happening. So chapter 45 will just be staying to one video because, geez, that chapter, that chapter was long. <laughs> but obviously you can see that, well, the hiccups are gone and it's the same night itself. And um, I'm glad that they're gone, but it didn't give me a good reading experience. So I'm definitely going to have to read this chapter over. But basically the fight has started between the Rock Humans and Carrera versus versus Josuke. Josuke obviously took the fire that Carrera was set on since the rock humans, they are savages. They literally took the gas from a car and said, yeah, let me go ahead and just light her on fire real quick. That is insane. I mean, I already had a little vendetta against her for whatever reasons, but to see her just be lit on fire like that, I'm just like, okay, where are we going at with this Iraqi? Because this is Ooh, this is brutal. But obviously with Josuke being there, he was able to remove it with the soap bubbles itself. And the way that Araki has this creative use of this rock human ability of them being able to touch something, or at least this rock human specifically, he's able to touch something and transport it to wherever he's using it, but it'd be kind of part of his body at that moment right there. He was just suffocating Josuke and Carrera was running away. So I hope Carrera doesn't fully run away, if you get what I mean. I hope she just doesn't abandon Josuke, because if so, that'd be very messed up, especially with her knowing Josuke and her being so close to Jose Fume. This is very interesting right here. And the fact that we got the standard briefing literally right in this chapter included instead of included with the next chapter itself now that we know it's in the soccer ball which i mean either way wherever this was going to be placed it was going to be placed after this chapter or before the next chapter itself i hate the fact that we kind of got spoiled on it through that stand debriefing thing because i wish we would have been surprised with that in the actual chapter itself but now that we know it's some poisonous gas in there it kind of looks like the green baby from part six or was it yeah this chapter it wasn't too too long so i don't have too too much to say obviously i was hiccuping throughout the whole thing which that was annoying itself and it's going to be very annoying to edit but overall i thought this chapter was cool in terms of it being all a part of this whole little love love deluxe part one two three and next chapter is obviously four like i said part four will be its own video because i saw how big the first two pages was and i was like all right i don't need to continue to see just a preview how much i need to read 
to know what I'm going to be getting into. So uh, all them words. <laughs> I'm just hoping that video doesn't go over 30 minutes because you guys know I don't like to make my videos over 30 minutes if I don't have to. Hopefully this video isn't too long either. But then again, I'll have to cut a lot of this down because I was hiccuping throughout the whole thing. It was honestly a very insufferable reading experience, especially reading out loud. Anything for the raw impression, anything for the raw reaction itself. But let me know what you guys thought about this chapter down in the comment section down below. I hate the fact that I cut this one so short, but the next chapter itself is pretty pretty long so make sure you grab your drinks you get some snacks you get your popcorn ready because trust me we gonna have a lot of reading and possibly a lot of speculation in it as well i saw there was something about the evolution or whatever so this should be interesting make sure you comment down below your thoughts on this chapter right here and this read to itself right here and let me know if you laughed at me just hiccuping and just trying to gasp for air because geez it was just horrible reading but yeah make sure you hit the subscribe button to like the video if y'all have not already and don't forget to hit the patreon lowest tier is a dollar and you can see these pages weeks, weeks ahead of time and i'm blurred and as usual just to make sure that you recap on everything before we get to that next read through joe jolian read through playlist right here come on you need to catch up and the latest read through right there thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace